ascending descending um, started out with Jerry Reed I think you know uh, I think stump water maybe was what that was on uh, maybe wrong about that uh, and then Steve Warner played it on a song and he he uh, he put a shuffle to it that kind of thing and I thought man I sure love that lick and I think I first learned about it uh, actually in a magazine article that uh, was Brent Mason did in a, like some kind of Nashville guitar magazine it's been 30 years ago so uh, I've always played with the idea of those and I and so I, then I thought what if I was to scatter those notes out a little bit um, and make it sort of like a hybrid version of the Pat Martino cascading chromatic lick that Buddy Emmons would play in Pat Martino so it's uh, more of a uh, uh, so that's that was kind of where it started and sometimes I'll reach up and catch this string with the finger I don't really know why I do that. It's a whole lot easier if you just stay in your position. And I'll try it slow here. So here's uh, some of the details of that lick. Um, one of the easiest ways I've thought to explain it is just where the fingers go. Um, the ascending, descending, so knowing what the low end does versus what the high end does, I often break it up to explain it to people. So I think that's the low end. So that's the low end. Uh, it's different when you hear it by itself. And then the high end is. That's the low end, and the high end does this. So, so that's where the fingers go. So you, you probably want to get used to playing it. So now to scatter it out, let's see. interesting in the middle that line there I'll try to slow it down a little more Thank mm -hmm. you. 
pretty slow, I think. 